How's it going guys? Anxious Cynic back again with another Minimator tip. So uh, some of you have asked me, how do you save keyframes where you can use them in other animations or whatever? And this is really helpful for walk cycles and whatnot, so you don't have to do it over and over uh, for every project you have. So what I have here is a basic little silly animation of Steve kind of just wonking out. And uh, obviously you might not want this particular animation, but if you wanted to save this and, and have everything good to go for the future, we can save these keyframes and bring them into future projects or even to other characters into the same project. Whatever you want to do with them, you can do it. So what we're going to do is select all of our keyframes. We're going to have them highlighted here. And then as you can see, we have these options down here open up to us. We can export selected keyframes. We can delete them, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But what we want to do is export them. So I'm going to go ahead and click this. All right, so I've navigated to the folder that I want to put these keyframes in, and we're just going to call it uh, human wonking out. And I'm going to save that. And uh, as you can see, nothing happens here, but Let's see if we can bring in another character. Let's bring in a skeleton. There we go, something with similar anatomy as a human. And let's just bring him over here. And uh, yeah, so he's not gonna do anything. So what I'm gonna do with the skeleton selected down here in the timeline, we're gonna go up to uh, our import button as we normally would do for rigs or anything else. And when we bring that up, we are in the folder that I saved my human wonking out keyframes to. So let's go ahead and bring this in. And as you can see, we get these keyframes for the skeleton. Now, we already had one created for the skeleton, so it kind of moved it over. So what I'm going to do is just delete that initial keyframe and bring the new one in. So as you can see here, we have the same keyframe set up as we did for the human. So uh, just so we can see this, I'm going to highlight the actual skeleton's root keyframes and I'm just going to drag them over the way we had it a second ago. Let's just say about 30 just so we can have them over there. And now when we press play, we should have the same movement. And there you go. That is the skeleton and Steve dancing in unison to whatever weird dance this is. I'm going to call this the sneeze dance because I felt like I had to sneeze there for a second. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all you would do. You just highlight your keyframes. You get this option down here. Make sure there's not more than one character selected. If I accidentally selected the human character's keyframes here, it probably wouldn't enable this option. It needs to be compatible. So only one thing at a time, I guess you would say. Anyway, once you have something compatible highlighted, then you're going to click on that, save it, import it for other characters, just whatever you have selected. It should hopefully work. And uh, yeah, that's how you can save movements and bring them into future animations. So I hope that was helpful, guys. If it was, feel free to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe to become a citizen today. Share this video around with your friends and your family and your pets. And I will see you in the next video.